morning everybody this is Karen Marge from Hilton Head Island South Carolina and this is a picture of Freedom and I yesterday at birds uh, well it used to be called birds and exotics uh, now called exotic vet care and Freedom uh, he started um, drinking a lot of water about two weeks ago and uh, acting a little strangely um, you know there was a lot of droppings on the newspaper that were abnormal and um, he had some vocalizations that he never had before and you know, like whimpering or during a bird bath he didn't want me uh, to really spray him when he normally loves a bath and or if I go to pet him on one side of his head he was like please don't touch me so you have to be <clears throat> really cognizant of how parrots act on a daily basis you know not just how they look but a lot of times you know, when they have problems, they will mask uh, those those illnesses. So, um, but I I have newspaper at the bottom of the cage. And I change it every day, and sometimes twice in one evening. And at this point, we were at three times. So, Freedom, uh, we came up to Exotic Vet Care on Saturday, the twenty fifth. We were there for about four hours for testing, and they had to keep Freedom in an incubator. So that just about broke my heart because I haven't been separated from him in six years. So. Um, but he stayed there Saturday evening. He was checked on by Dr. Rainwater on Sunday with an ultrasound and some tube feeding and stuff like that. And then um, Monday, I drove up after work um, two and a half hours from Hilton Head and didn't get to see Freedom. Um, but I did talk to Dr. Rainwater and she left me a couple messages. They're really good about following up and letting you know what's going on. And then I got to hold Freedom yesterday for two hours. Now, Today he has to have surgery. <clears throat> They're going to do an endoscopy procedure where they go in through the esophagus, try to remove. He's got something big blocking um, in his uh, lower stomach, close to the gizzard. So they're going to uh, see if they can remove that now, today. Uh, they did more testing and everything yesterday and the day before with barium. Okay, guys, we're signing off live. Um, and... Um, Dr. Bechea, I hope I'm saying that right, he uh, is an avian specialist, and Dr. Rainwater uh, works closely with him, and they're both amazing uh, vets, so if you have anything small, look right here on the list, rabbits, guinea pigs, ferrets, chinchillas, uh, but they do a lot of birds and any type of reptile and small animals, even hedgehogs. You got a lot of, all right guys, we're signing off live um, with my little fake parrot and hopefully I'll get to see Freedom soon today. Have a great day.